After a rainstorm, Lily measures the depth of several puddles in her backyard. She records her results in a table. So here are three different puddles and she measure, measures the depth in inches. And then we're asked how much deeper was the puddle under the swing than the puddle on the sidewalk. So pause this video and see if you can figure that out. So they say how much deeper was the puddle under the swing so that's this one right over here. It's one and one fourth inches deep. It's under the swing. How much deeper was that than the puddle on the sidewalk? Let me do that in a different color. The puddle on the sidewalk. And we see here the puddle on the sidewalk is two fourths inches deep. So what we could do is subtract the two fourths from the one and one fourth. So we could write one and one fourth minus two fourths. We could write it like that. And we could try to subtract the fraction part, two fourths, from the fraction part of this mixed number up here, from one fourth, but we immediately have a problem because two fourths is a larger fraction than one fourth. So how do we deal with that? Well, the key is to realize that one can be rewritten as a fraction. One and one fourth is the same thing as, one and one fourth is the same thing as one plus one fourth, which is the same thing as, another way to write one in terms of fourths is four fourths. So this is four fourths plus one fourth plus one fourth, which is going to be equal to five fourths. So now you can view this as five fourths. This number is the same thing as five fourths minus two fourths. Let me rewrite it. Minus two fourths minus two over four. And that's pretty straightforward. If I have five of something and I subtract two of it, I'm going to have three of that something. And in this case, I'm talking about three fourths. So this is going to be three fourths. So how much deeper was the puddle under the swing than the puddle on the sidewalk? Well, three fourths of an inch. And just another way that you could have visualized this is, look, I'm going to subtract two fourths from one and one fourth. At first, we could have thought of one and one fourth as a hole like this. And then, so let me say, shade it the hole in. That's one. And then I would have a fourth of a hole. So let me divide this into four equal sections. So this is one and one fourth. And at first we said, well, how do we take away two fourths from just that? I only have one fourth right over here. And our key realization is, well, look, I actually, this hole right over here is actually four fourths. I could think of it as four fourths. So I could think of it like this. And now I have five fourths. One, two, three, four, five fourths. And now I could take away two of the fourths. So I could take away one of the fourths and two of the fourths. And what am I left with? Well, then I'm going to be left with these three fourths right over there.